Capture recapture is a statistical method used to estimate population sizes when it is too difficult to count the entire population. For example, the number of ants that live in someone's garden could be estimated. The sampler would capture a specific amount of ants, for example 20, and mark them with a tag. The ants would then be released and then at another time the sampler would return and capture some more ants. In the second sample, the number of marked ants would be counted and this information will be used to estimate the overall population. Whereas if you try to count all of the ants within somebody's garden, it will be very, very difficult to make sure that you've got every single one. Or expanding this out, for example, if you wanted to count all of the lions that are in um, a particular region of Africa, it will be very, very difficult to make sure you've got every single one. So this is a method of estimating it based off just a few of them. The key equation for capture recapture can be seen here. It's the number recaptured over the size of the second sample is equal to the size of the first sample over the size of the population. This can be simplified down a little bit. So you could say that it's m over n is equal to m over n. Notice how the left hand side uses lowercase letters and the right hand side uses uppercase. And again, this is just the same thing. So capital M would be the size of the first sample. Capital N would be the size of the total population. Lowercase m would be the number previously tagged. And then finally, lowercase n would be the size of the second sample. This can be rearranged however you like because of course you might be finding different things. For example, you could be given the number recaptured, the size of second sample and then the size of the first sample and expect to find the population. But also you could be, for example, given the size of a first sample, the size of the population and the number recaptured and then expected to find the size of second sample. You could be Asked to find any of the different variables here. So being able to rearrange it is really important. For example, if we wanted to rearrange this, so we'll use the simplified form just because it's going to be a little bit quicker to write. If we wanted to rearrange this to get the size of population, which is the uppercase n, we could do something like this. So we could flip both sides. So if we wanted to get the size of population, we could rearrange it to do something like this. First, I would I would flip over both sides, and that gives us n over m is equal to capital N over m and then we want n on its own so I'm going to times through by capital M and that leaves us with n over m times capital M. So now we can see that the size of the second sample over the number recaptured times by the size of the first sample would give you the size of the population. And obviously you can rearrange this for different variables however you like, whatever the question asks, you'll need to rearrange it for or substitute in and then solve. There are several assumptions when using this statistical method. These are properties that we need to assume in order for it to be as accurate as possible. The first of which is that marked and unmarked individuals have the same mortality rate. What this means is by adding the marking, it doesn't mean the individuals are more likely to die or less likely to die. They are still just a general member of the population of the animal and not a greater or lesser mortality rate. Next, the population is closed. This one might be a little bit confusing, but basically this means that we're going to assume that there's been no death or migration in between our two samples. The population is given time to mix after marking. So, this is an assumption that we're given a significant period where the two separate populations, the, the marked and the unmarked, can fully mix in with each other. Of course, if we just released our marked animals and then 10 seconds later grabbed them all again, well, that wouldn't be a very good sample because we know, we've just collected the same, same lot of animals and those will already be marked, throwing off our findings. So we need to make sure we give a significant period, maybe a number of days or maybe a few hours to make sure all of the animals mix back in with each other. If you found this video useful, why not try the topic test on our learning platform? Here, you can answer a series of questions and get instant feedback on how you've done. 
So you can see a written solution here, which explains exactly how you should have solved the problem, both with the general formula and then an application to this specific question. And that is for every single question on the platform.